Okay, so this review is going to be about uh, this international screen issue um, 182 from June 1971 and this original photograph of Nora Meow from March 1971 in Bangkok. So I originally uh, purchased this magazine uh, years back. I didn't have anything of Nora Meow in my collection. Um, I'm not a Nora collector. She's very pretty, but um, I'm a Bruce Lee fan and collector. Uh, she is a uh, relative to Bruce. She's been in what three of his movies. So I thought I'd pick at least an item up of her. And uh, I bought the magazine not knowing I'd ever get the photograph. So I, I really was attracted to the pink Chinese letters up top. And the photograph of Nora on this is probably the best photo I've seen of her, in my opinion. Her expression, what I really loved about it is that dress. I mean, for the early 70s, you don't see, like, fashion dresses that look like that. This looks modern, like, it's got a real pop art look to her dress. Like, the black splatter and then the pink and burgundy um, splatter over the white. It just looks real fancy, real modern. Uh, so yeah, I picked that up and then years later I seen this photograph on eBay And it was an original photograph. I mean you see photographs once and here and there uh, You know, you don't pick them up, but this one kind of caught my attention It just looked cool and I like these photos of Bruce Lee that have the date on them um, So as I was looking at the photo more I noticed that the only time I've ever seen her wear this dress was the cover of the magazine so I was like, wow, I mean, it was about $13 for this photo, so I picked it up, because it's an original. I haven't seen anyone else with this photograph. Um, so there was another person on Facebook that posted this photograph. He is not the owner of it. I'm the owner of the photo, but he posted it, and he wasn't sure uh, what the information on the photo was, except for Bang Bangkok. Um, so now I have uncovered all the information that there is on regarding this photograph. I'm going to go ahead and go over it right now. So February, late February, 1971, Jimmy Wang Yu and Nora Miao, both Golden Harvest, uh, newly signed stars at that time, flew to Singapore for a uh, charity event. Okay. So they were invited um, from the Children's United Organization, which was sponsored by the First Lady of Singapore. Uh, they were welcomed by many of the Singaporean fans uh, that were well aware of who they were. Um, so Nora and Wang Yu both arrived to Singapore. Um, actually, Nora arrives to Singapore on February 24th, 1971. Jimmy Wang Yu was supposed to arrive on the same day, but something happened with his flight, and he was, um, it was delayed because he was in Taiwan. So he didn't get to Singapore until the 25th. But when he did get to the airport, he was greeted by 3,000 Singaporean fans. Um, the charity event would be four consecutive nights, 25th through the 28th. Nora and Wang Yu uh, would perform at a uh, club, at a club at, uh, where they uh, sang karaoke. Uh, Nora and Wang Yu were also invited by, interviewed, I'm sorry, they were both interviewed by the uh, Thai president um, and his wife at the time um, about their, you know, their film careers. Um, so they stayed in Singapore for a week. Um... And while they were there, they were there for two reasons, um, for the charity event and to attend the um, the Singaporean premiere, which is about a month later from the Hong Kong or Japanese premiere of uh, Zatuichi versus the One-Armed Swordsman, which is like a, another prequel, uh, a, se a sequel, I'm sorry, another sequel from the original One-Armed Swordsman uh, with Jimmy Wang Yu. Um, so Jimmy Wang Yu attended that that premiere there in uh, Singapore as well and then when that was finished they flew to um, Malaysia and Malaysia also had um, a uh, two-day premiere for the movie um, and they, that, that premiere was um, booked as it was so popular um, so um, that ended uh that ended the 
the trip in Malaysia, and then on March 4th, Wang Yu and Nora would uh, fly to Bangkok for two days, March 4th through the March 6th. Um, they returned to Hong Kong on the morning of March 6th. Um, so this photograph right here has to have been from either March 4th or March 5th, not March 6th. And the location has been mixed up. Um, one person said that it might have been uh, um, a, a famous de uh, department store in Bangkok, Thailand that was there, that was built in 1930, and then around 1966, it turned into um, a store called Nightingale Olympic, which, which had uh, several stories, but at the store was about three, inside the store, there was about three stories. Um, they had a cosmetic shop on the first floor, and then a hair salon and a cosmetic shop, which was on the third floor, and I've watched the videos, I've done a bit of research, and um, those were not the uh, the same um, cosmetic stores and retailers as in the photo. This photo was taken at a Kosei retailer in Bangkok, which is a, a different, a totally different uh, store. And Kosei was newly introduced to Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia in 1971. Um, it's a, it was originally a Japanese uh, cosmetics uh, skincare brand and, and hair care. So women would buy these products and um, Nora seems to be there shopping for some of those cosmetics that are there in the little glass display case on the counter. And the woman seems to be helping her as she took this photograph there. She's a well-known star, so I'm pretty sure uh, the photographer that took the photo um, most likely came with her there or just happened to see her and know, knew who she was um this was before the big boss um i believe nora got to thailand for the big boss in august 1971 this photo in bangkok of her is in march 1971 so about five months uh before she came to uh, thailand for the big boss this photo was taken in bangkok um I was able to uh, get the photographer's actual name. He's, he's a Thai man. Um, he does speak Chinese and Thai. His name is Kai Feng Sheng. He's the photographer that took this uh, original photograph and he confirmed that this Kosei retailer is no longer there in uh, Bangkok today. Um, so I did a lot of research to find out this information and uh, the mystery of this photograph is finally solved. So uh, anyone who has seen this photo before on Facebook, the now they see, can see this video and actually know the true story of the photograph. So that's it for the video and uh, thank you for watching.